So my name is Beth Whitmer and I had problems with my mid-back and my knees. I really don't know how the mid-back problems started. It was just one night I was in bed and got shooting pains in my back and then that kind of came and went for a little bit and eventually it just was constant pain. It was not too significant at first, but it was constant, always at a two or three, and then I'd have jolts of pain, certain movements that I made, um, and that went on for a good five years or more. Uh, as far as my knees, I injured my left knee in a skiing accident in high school, and my chocolate lab took out my right knee and tore a meniscus. <laughs> so I've had just had problems with my knees and arthritis for Oh my gosh, so high school, I was 17 or 18. I'm 38 now, so that many years <laughs> I had problems with my knees. So to try to help the problem with my back, I started at another chiropractor and he had thought it was a rib that was out of place and he tried for, I, I don't know, probably a couple months and nothing ever really happened. Um, so I eventually just kind of gave up. Um, I started doing yoga. That didn't do much of anything. I lost a bunch of weight. That didn't seem to help. <laughs> I went to my family doctor. They did an injection. We did a round of prednisone. They gave me muscle relaxers. Um, everything kind of helped a little bit, but it's still just the it's it would never it never went away it was always constant and maybe just a little bit of the pain was just a little less um, I went to OSS they did an x-ray they, they put me through a round of physical therapy that did nothing um, the next step was an MRI which I had to delay after I got pregnant so once I finally got the MRI um, it showed some sort of lesion, two different lesions on nerves in my back. Um, they suggested a nerve block. I eventually got two nerve blocks and a nerve ablation in three different places, which again, it helped with the pain. It wasn't quite as bad and it wasn't quite as constant. <laughs> it would go away every once in a while, but it was still, I would still get the jolts of pain. Um, and then I came here to Harcourt Chiropractic and we, uh, you know, Dr. Gary talked to me about the soft wave and I figured I've tried everything else. What would it hurt to try this? And this is the first and only thing. I haven't had jolts of pain since the first treatment. Um, the constant pain is gone. It gets sore every once in a while, but it, it's nothing like the relief that I've I've had, this has been the only thing that's, that's done the, any sort of significant relief to the pain that I've had for my back. Um, and it affected everything in my life. <laughs> Moving, sitting, driving, standing, walking, it didn't matter what I was doing, I could always feel it. And this is the only thing that's taken it away for the most part. So it's been wonderful mm -hmm. to finally have that relief. Overall, percentage-wise, I'm probably 90% better, if not more. It's, the relief in my back is the most significant, and it's just been going from constant pain all the time and jolts of pain to no jolts of pain and just sore every once in a while after doing a whole bunch of stuff or sitting in my office chair for a significant amount of time. It, it's significantly better. Before you try surgery, before you go through physical therapy, that's going to maybe be a waste of time because physical therapy is extremely time consuming. Um, you know, try this first because surgery, in my opinion, once you open it up, it's never going to be the same. So before you, before any surgery, try this first. I've, I've told my brother who has had problems. He had a fractured vertebrae. I told him to try it before he does surgery. Um, anybody that I've talked to recently who <laughs> had back pain or significant issues, you know, go ahead and try this. It, it doesn't hurt to try it. And with my back pain, I never thought anything would get rid of it. And this has.